Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel, Bells 1986 SW. Today's video is going to be a tour of the caravan we stayed and when we stayed at the John Fowler um, Holiday Park. The caravan you're going to see, or lodge, is a Lodge Gold. Um, so this is a two bed caravan. Now, is that this is my honest review. I am not getting paid by John Fowler. This is just an honest review. We bought this with our own pennies. Now, I am vlogging the tour after a seven day stay in here why i'm doing that is because every time i watch these lovely reviews it's always with a spanking new caravan and it's always like oh my god that's amazing and things like that i'd like to give an honest review of what what could it what could make your stay even better and things which need to be changed or things what you need to bring so you're just more aware of it this is a tour of the two bed gold lodge at the john fowler um holiday park at saint Ives. Enjoy. So you enter the lodge by three steps. This one is not disabled friendly, um, so you will need to get one with a ramp if you do want one of these lodges. So you have three steps into the lodge. You're welcomed with a radiator, um, laminate flooring. Then you have your kitchen. To the right of you, you have a fridge, which is a really, really good size. Underneath you have a freezer with three drawers and then in here is the boiler um, with a pan and brush. It would have been ideal just for a longer um, sweeping brush so you could just sweep up um, but there's just a little pan and brush there. Then this is your kitchen. You have a big bin. You have to supply the bin bags. Um, then you've got a bread bin. Uh, toaster, uh, microwave, and then you've got storage above the microwave, your washing up bowl, your draining board, and that is your sink. You have to bring your own washing up liquid, it comes with a roller blind. Here is your dishwasher, um, a drawer with your knives, forks, your, cook your cutlery. Then you have another spare drawer, a cupboard here, another cupboard with a, a bin if you need it. Then you have a little cupboard with some pans. Then this is your oven, your oven, your grill, your hob, your extractor fan, more cupboard space here, cupboard space here, knife block and your utensils, what you'll need. Drawer and a cupboard. What I will say is this, which is a dishwasher, I don't think you really need it in this type of caravan. It would have been absolutely fantastic if this was made into like, um, shelves so it'd be brilliant for like a shoe cupboard because there's no space to put like your shoes when you walk in then this is your lounge area so you have seating here with a table and you have a chair because this is only a two bed you are supplied with bedding because the sofa behind me makes into a um pull out double bed this is um this is a footstool and it which is amazing because it's got storage underneath so if you've got young children you could put toys in there as well and then you do have a gas fire picture on top then you have two um shelves a TV. My husband did bring his Xbox for him and it, him and Max to play, so you can um, like fit an Xbox um, to the TV. It has storage underneath. Then this is your French doors. It opens up, and you have a really really nice balcony outside with a picnic bench. Also, as well, you are allowed to have barbecues, but they can't damage the deck or the picnic bench. Um, so you are allowed barbecues. Then this is what makes into a double bed, pull out bed. Um, then you have a footstool, that's your sofa. And you have a coffee table. This is your welcome pack, which comes in the caravan. It's got everything you need to know about the park. And then it has a mirror, hi again. This is the main bedroom. You get two double beds. 
um, bedside table on both sides, little lamps which um, is amazing because they have a little switch under the side. Both have um, plug sockets at the side of the bed which is a win-win for charge. Um, and also you've got the main light at the bedside table as well. Above the bed you have more storage, um, you have a shelving unit and then you have a cupboard on each side for more storage. Then you have the window, then you have a little um, like dressing table in the corner with a stool, the TV remote for the little TV in the room with a mirror and what I do like as well it does have a plug socket so amazing for like your hair dry, your straighteners, your tongs, whatever which is amazing and also a, like a shaver side at that side. You have a radiator which does um, keep you warm nice and toasty but we were in summer so we didn't really need it on and then you have massive wardrobe space so you've got a hanging rail here which goes all the way to the far end you have a massive shelf which goes to the far end and then i call these pigeon holes and then you have three drawers you have ample of loads of coat hangers as well and then this just slides to make a massive double wardrobe. This is your little ensuite attached to the main bedroom. It has a toilet. Um, well you have to bring your own toilet roll. It does come with one toilet roll. Um, so you've got toilet, then you have a little storage area here. It's not the deepest so it's alright to put like get a cup out of the kitchen and put your toothbrushes, your toothpaste um, and little toiletries in here. And then you have a frosted glass window it does have a roller blind you have a little sink you do have to bring your own hand wash um, but just leaving this and then it comes with a mirror morning and that is the little bathroom attached to the main bedroom this is bedroom number two two single beds which are a good size one adult has slept in here with a child on the one night and then the both the children decided to sleep together and um, so that is the beds um, you have a bedside table in the middle and then above the bed you have the same storage in the main bedroom you have um, a shelf with a cupboard with more storage and it's the same on the other side it has a window and then this is your storage um, you have a long length um, wardrobe with three drawers inside when you open it it has plenty of coat hangers and you do have a spare duvet and um, spare pillows which we have been using then it does come with a coat hook um, a plug socket and also a radiator and a sh uh, shaver outlet now what I will say which is the downfall in this room is the plug socket is here and I do think that they need a plug socket just there just for charging purposes because we know what we're like we like to charge our phone at night time and have a good scroll before we go to bed so it would have been better if there was um, a plug socket there however because there was children here it didn't cause much of a problem but it's just one thing which does let the room down. So you have the main bedroom there, bed one here and then this is the main bathroom and this is your light sockets on the side. On your left hand side you have three coats, hangers, is the bathroom or shower room because there's no bath in here. So this is your really large shower, um, really really good size. It has plenty of room to put like your shower gels etc on there. It's a really really good deep shower that's the shower then you have a mirror morning mirror uh, with a sink and then underneath the sink it has plenty of storage as well win win obviously once again you don't get hand soap you have to bring your own we're just leaving that then you have the toilet once again toilet roll you have to bring your own you do get supplied one and um, so yeah toilet and then you do get a coat hanger as well. So that was the lodge we stayed at. Now, John Fowler have many, many um, different varieties of log cabins and also different accommodation on the St. Ives um, site. We chose just your, your basic um, lodge, cab lodge cabin with two bedrooms and your sofa to change into a bed. And that's because we would rather spend that extra pennies 
on like days out so like flan bars and, and Eden products we did then spend it on um, a platinum caravan say with a hot uh, a hot tub because really we wouldn't have used that hot tub and um, we'd have felt like we'd have had to because it was there but we're, we're mostly out and about um, so that's why we chose the the um, like bog standard gold caravan um, log cabin whatever you want to call it and it was absolutely amazing absolutely stunning it was just what we needed and um, I, I, it was amazing. So let's talk about the actual site. Um, so as you drive in to the site, you will come to a roundabout and just on your right hand side, you will see a maze, um, a local shop on the site. In here, it has absolutely everything you need from milk, bread, eggs, to um, fresh um, bakery items. Also as well, if you do like to go bingo in, if you can get your bingo dabbers in here for 95p, if you go and use the Foxy Shop in the um, entertainment centre, you'll be paying £1.50 because it's got a fox on, so that is a little tip just to bear in mind. The shop wasn't overly priced like most like on-site shops are, um, and also as well they sell bucket spades for those beach trips. Then you'll see that um, there is a map, and it is undergoing at the moment a massive revamp, so all their log cabins are, and um, they're brand new, and you can absolutely tell, and it makes such a different difference to the park. Um, in the following year they are going to be doing the um, swimming pool and their clubhouse and amusements up um, so bear that in mind if you are coming next year um, we didn't feel any effects of the remodeling or anything like that um, we didn't really notice until we saw that like that great big map so then we move into the clubhouse um, the clubhouse is a little bit old-fashioned but it, it was absolutely fantastic saying that so as you walk in you go through um, past the toilets and then you'll go into the lounge area on your right hand side is a bar and the price point for drinks is amazing for a family of six four adults were drinking alcoholic drinks and two children were drinking j12s you were looking just under the 20 pound mark for a round which we thought was absolutely incredible value for money also one of the downsides into this bar is that they don't do like long drinks what I mean by that is there's no mocktails or cocktails and um, which would have been nice and um, because we went when it was really really hot and sometimes you just want a long relaxing drink so that would have been an absolute bonus if they had done that entertainment place was um, amazing like I said it is it does need a little like revamp um, it's, it's, there's a stage, there's a dance floor, there's lower seating and then there's upper seating as well. Um, the entertainment while we were there was first class. They have um, like a kids disco um, about six o'clock in, in the evening and then it goes into like party games and then the stripies come on and do a little segment and then you have your evening entertainment. We had a, li a little mixed tribute band there, we had a magician which was featured on ITV's Britain's Got Talent and Mad uh, Matrix. He was absolutely incredible, he got my father-in-law up. The stuff he did was insane. Um, then we had some local um, singers. Um, Richard with his guitar was uh, amazing. Um, he got it was really good participation with the children as well, and it was just honestly fabulous fun time. Also as well, on Thursdays, the entertainment starts an hour early and that's because they put on they put on a full pantomime and this is absolutely incredible. We went and saw the Aladdin and um, honestly, it was amazing. And um, there was jokes for the adults, which the kids wouldn't understand. And then there was the good old, he's behind you, oh no he isn't. And it just was absolutely incredible. And um, the stripers which were there were just made our holiday. Also as well, they have kids club as well during the day. And um, this it includes sand art. This had, we had a cowboy um, morning there if we wanted to go where the kids could learn line dancing. They had hot dogs and wedges and stuff. This was all 
free um and then they had film days um adventure uh, adventure games and um, they had so much variety in the actual morning there was only one day which we utilized that the kids club kind of thing and that was on the tuesday then you move into like the reception area which has some like seating area and then through the reception area you have got um a restaurant there's only one restaurant on site but oh my goodness me the food in here is absolutely incredible as well as the customer service the chef is amazing he really catered to grace's allergies and did his best to um to make something grace could have for her stays there um the waitresses were absolutely incredible so friendly um really knew what was on the menu which they could adapt if you needed to and the food was delicious delicious i had a chinese tray bake i had a vegan tray um a burger hot dogs and also as well you don't actually have to stay in the restaurant so what they do is if you want to um go back into the entertainment um and make sure that your kids are okay or you want to watch like a tribute band or something then you can go in into the restaurant order your food and you'll be given a buzzer once the buzzer goes off you just basically go in and it's a takeaway and you can go back into the entertainment, um, entertainment and eat your lunch and you're not missing out on the fun. In the restaurant it is two tiers, you've got a bottom floor with like some um, sofas and then you go up onto the um, higher deck and then they have some patio doors. Through the patio doors that, at, at the back there is a crazy golf. This is free. Um, so it is a quite a small crazy golf but saying that, um, it was five pound to get a club and a ball, and once you returned your five, um, once you returned your golf club and your ball, you would get your five pounds back. This was perfect for when we we're waiting for food because um, we came well because we were in the summer holidays. The queue, the wait times were higher than normal, which is you just expect that. So this was absolutely fantastic for the kids to go and play crazy golf while they were waiting for their food, and you could easily see them. Um, you have a small playground um, near your um, amusement centre um, which the kids absolutely love doing. They have picnic benches outside so you can watch them. Also as well on the decking just outside the um, kids play area you have um, you have table tennis to play. Table tennis was free once again you just had to put £5 down for the bat and the ball. Once you return the um, bat and the ball you would get your pennies back and the kids absolutely loved playing table tennis and so did the adults I may add onto the swimming complex. Swimming complex does need a lot of work and um, but the kids don't see that it's just the adults. The kids just see a swimming pool, a slide and they're most and they're happy. Now within the swimming pool you have like a baby pool and then you have like it's like a curve shape pool um, which goes from shallow to deep and then there is a slide as well. And also for the adults only there is a sauna as well and then there is tables and chairs for spectators to to watch now it does need a lot of work and um, it was it, it it wasn't the cleanest but it wasn't the dirtiest should I say um, it was brilliant to utilize it when you had a wet morning and you were waiting for the Sun to come out for you to, um, for you to go out um, and it was also okay for like that evening before you were getting ready to go out for an evening drink or the entertainment kind of thing um, I found the pool quite cold, but um, I like a really, really warm bath. So I do find water, if it's not really warm, quite cold. The kids absolutely loved it. Um, I, me and the mother-in-law just stayed in the sauna, <laughs> let's put it that way. Um, everyone said on site that the, the, the lifeguards, everyone there were absolutely fantastic. They were playing with the kids with like water guns and things like that. It was amazing. But it does need a revamp. Um, the slide is old, um, and 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 John Fowler put their hands up and basically say, yeah, it does need work, and, and they're in the process of, process of doing that. But please take that into consideration when you go into the swimming pool. Um, also, as well, what I'd like to add is all their pool um, activities, even the pool party, are absolutely free. You just need to go to the reception desk to put your child's name on the list. Um, and if there is spaces available, then that is free, which we thought was absolutely fantastic. One of the main pluses to this um, park is it had massive 
woodland area. We went on some lovely woodland trails, following the woodland trails um, signs. And when you go through one of the woodland signs, um, there's like bug hotels for the children to look at. Um, you're encouraged to make like dens and using um, the twigs and things like that. Then there is an opening and there's like a gorgeous adventure land. Um, there is a zip wire, there's a little climbing frame, there's like benches which are wobble, there's a spinning thing, there's a swing. We had so much fun here. Um, there's picnic benches so you could bring a picnic easily. Um, I love um, autumnal time and the sun was just at a right time so I could take some really nice photos with the family. It was just absolutely gorgeous. We we loved this part of the park. It was so quiet as well um, and then you, you go as you go through the woodland it brings you up at another, scent, another place at the park. It's a really good walk and it's just a bonus of this like little hidden adventure park and um, we thoroughly love this part of the park um, and it's one of the, the pluses to this park so when you check in you'll be given like loads of like leaflet like a bump i call it and um, i would um advise you to check this so this is just basically a park map it tells you everything what's on the park um on the john fowler park and um, things like that um, where the woodland trails are, um, etc, etc. As you can see, we were ringed at number 10. We were quite close to the amusement parks. Um, we were a bit like, oh, is it going to be too loud? But it isn't. Everyone, um, when we were there, was really considerate with the noise of things. So we never heard loads of people leaving. Um, most of the time, everyone left when the entertainment closed. They did have, like, a midnight disco. Um, but once, like, your main act finishes, uh, you will find that a lot of the families go and there's, like literally 10 or 15 people still left behind and um, so there's not like a massive like rush but if you are um, not wanting to go to the entertainment then be aware if you are close to the amusement there is like a lot of like kids leaving and things like that so expect about 15 minutes of just um, a little bit of a noise and then it just dies down but after that you don't hear a peep that's your part map. Also as well, we were given this book, um, Best Days Out at Cornwall, and we just basically flick through it. Also as well, when we flick through it, you get two pages of vouchers inside. As you can see, we've only got one because we used one. And this entails um, some like Eden project, which was like 10% off for, for, um, for two people, which is amazing because it was the same kind of discount on um, the Eden project's website. Also as well, it had flambards on here. Um, Flambards, which is an amazing little amusement park. Um, we absolutely had a blast here. Um, so you had discount off that. Um, I think it was 10% off we had. Um, this one has the Jamaican Inn, Land's End, which was 10% off, which is bargain. We went to Land's End. Um, Paradise Park. Um, they have, they've got loads of different things um, and the other page was full of them. So we've only got one page left because we used it. So this was absolutely fantastic. So if you do go, news, look in here because there is some amazing vouchers and um, we saved quite a lot of money by using these vouchers. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Overall, the one downside to a John Fowler Park is the swimming complex. It's the one thing which really needs a boost up. And also the entertainment, the entertainment um, complex as well is a bit um, old school, let's say. Um, but the entertainment, what they provided was top notch. Um, but the swimming pool does need a little bit of a revamp and I cannot wait to go back after everything's done and just to see these amazing changes they are doing because it is amazing. This is my first time at a John Fowler Park and I can tell you now it will not be my last. As always, sending huge positive thoughts. Rachel, bye!